How's it going, everyone, and welcome to today's video. We're bringing you a little bit of Tekken 8. First impressions, and uh, we're going to touch on the first chapter of the story. I just want to say a big thank you to my friend Trav, who hooked me up with this game. And as always, comment, like, and subscribe, and set up in the comments below the video if you do, in fact, enjoy today's content. Really excited to be bringing you this game. Generated a lot of hype on X, Facebook, other social media platforms. And by rights, people are saying it's the best fighting game of this generation. Being a big Street Fighter fan myself, we're going to have to put this to the test. But I can tell you straight off the bat, the presentation is all there. The sound is beautiful. The music, as always, the very established lore and story with Tekken. I've touched on it here and there. I did play Tekken, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, Tekken Tag Tournament. Um, a little bit of Tekken Tag 2, a little bit of 5. Played quite a lot of 7, but I've been a little bit out of touch with the series. But today, we aim to change that, and we're going to be checking out a few different things with the game, beginning with the story. But we're going to be looking into all aspects of this game. So if that's something you do indeed enjoy, subscribe to the channel you never ever miss out on my content and then you'll be up to date won't you we we're gonna go in now to chapter one evil stars collide from the story the dark awakens in the past the production value of these stories has been absolutely off, off the charts bonkers and i'm hoping that that is the same situation here so let's go Chapter 1, Evil Stars Collide. With many, many, many moons since I played a second game. Um, I am on my custom hit box. I have a fight box that I uh, got for Street Fighter 6. So I will be playing it on a hit box. For anyone that's interested to know what type of input method I'm using. And I'm going to just see how well I can actually play Tekken on a hit box. As in the past I played on stick. So I'm not even entirely sure if it's playable on a hitbox, but we'll soon find out. Mishima Heihachi got killed for a half a year. He got a chance to take a chance. Ah, now he's going to take the world of the world. All of this is related to him. Stunning presentation already. Really, really high quality FMVs. Got Jin Kazama here on the motorbike. Looking crisp. Why is it always helicopters in Tekken? Like they love they love that side shot with the helicopters, don't they? Oh way up. Wow. <laughs> We've still got that anime style craziness that Tekken is well known for. Family feuds and crazy battles. That's what Tekken's all about. <laughs> the monster who fanned the flames of war across the world. What do you want with me? Shinima. Kazuya! Kazuya! Nice. Absolutely stunning. Rare detail on the characters. Still amazes me each year with Tekken how much better the game actually looks. Holy moly. Wow, straight into the action here. Holy, that looks looks amazing. Wow. Whoa, chill out, mate. Nice, that's new. So double tapping, um, is it left punch? I call it one. You can get like this launcher now. 
And he's also got this new um, kind of yeah, like a down sweep. I think he's back in uh, three and four. Hold on. No, no. Oh, damn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Holy moly. Combat feels so smooth and crispy. I did play Jin Kazama in the last one. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't amazing. Don't get me wrong. I was okay. Um, and like I said before, one, two, one, two, double kick. Oh, I'm really liking like, like the little subtle changes to Jin. One, one, two. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. Loving that new uh, sort of knockup punch. There we go. Graphics are stunning. Absolutely mind blowing. This has got to be like the only sort of next gen. I mean, I know Street Fighter 6 blew my socks off, but this is something else. Like, what the. What the word I can't say? Holy graphics. Like, what the hell? Yo! Oh, it. Don't know what he said. The leather on the jackets, the materials, the skin textures, the lighting, the fluidity of the combat—it just feels like a oof, feels like a different beast. Got Devil Jin coming out now. Fight. So, for anyone that doesn't know, Devil Jin is indeed a separate character to Jim. Holy, holy. Wow, wow. Chat I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wow, that slowdown, like, get my ass kicked. What? Nice. What the hell? What am I even doing? I don't even know what I'm doing here. That's insane. Not gonna lie, I am kind of just button mashing here. No idea what I'm doing with Devil Jin. Apparently, we're gonna throw some cards now. Jedi style. Woo! Big laser beam. Let's go. This is nutty. Like, this is so above and beyond what I expected. If the trend continues like this, man, I, uh, we may have a new contender for my favorite fighting game. I mean, he's currently Street Fighter 6, and with the end announcement, which my head's also up on my channel at the moment, I've done a little video talking about my thoughts and feelings on the end sort of remake for Street Fighter 6. Um, that's piqued me interest with going back to Street Fighter 6, but this, wow, this is something else. Oh, wow, Devil Kazuya. Kazuya, or whatever. I can't, I can't pronounce the names properly, but uh, you get what I mean. That's the main thing. Holy shit, look at this. Like madness, anime style madness. Let's go. Fight. Fight. One, two, three. Bang. Uh-uh. 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 
Wow. Did you pick Devil Kazuya in the game, or is it just, um... Oh, he's kicking my ass. Calm down! Stop it! So both, both kicks is launch, and then I can do, like, a grapple thing. Like this. Oh, this. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm absolutely getting my ass licked up. Here we go. Heat, heat, heat mode, or whatever it is, the, the ultimate thing. Let's go. Oh, that is so sick. Whoa. Let's go. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose. Oh, we might have him. We might have just clinched it. Oh, what? Did we lose? No, your place. Holy. Kick his ass. Don't let him beat you. This is the end. Very, very good. I feel like a big kid right now. Like, this is uh, as amazing to me as playing second three for the first time. Like, that was such a generational jump for me. I was like, this is it. This is the best fighting games are ever going to be. And here we are in 2024 playing games like this. It's just uh, a wonderful time to be a gamer, to be fair. So much to cover on this game. I think we will start off just by playing through the story. We'll be checking out the uh, training facilities, the off meta modes, the separate side modes, the character customization, the rank mode. We'll be looking into it all to make sure you are certainly subscribed to the channel to be aware of when them uploads are going to drop. I am trying to do a daily video at the moment, depending on the quality and how long it is and stuff like that. We've got a submarine here. It does look a little bit like the uh, submarine out of Metal Gear. You ever played Metal Gear 1? Union of the Nations Forces Autonomous Unit. Okay. Uh, Admiral, a few city blocks have been lost. The top brass has given us attack orders. So I've seen this character a lot on YouTube. Um, is it Vincent or something? I think that's his name. A lot of people are playing this French guy. Um, low tier God. I've, I think I've seen Punk play him. Uh, Maximilian. He seems very popular. Um, I don't know if he's new to the series or not. Maybe uh, someone could let me know. Sound up in the comments about that. Show some love. Let me know that you've been watching. <laughs> Kazuya there is kind of half human, half devil. I don't really know how this devil stuff works, but... I mean, who cares? Laser beams, wings. It's all good. It's all good. Got Lars there, he's a returning favourite. I don't know who the other one is. Not really too well to do on my characters. I know the old school ones like King, Armored King, Paul Phoenix, Orang, Keiku Kogsam, uh, Anna Williams, Nina Williams, stuff like that. Some of the newer ones I'm a little bit out of touch with. But hopefully with this new tech in, that's all to change. I think that's Steve Fox. Got Paul Phoenix there on the motorcycle. Not a big fan of his new haircut, but... 
No idea who that is. It look, can, might be Anna Williams. I'm not sure. Probably wrong on that, but. Unleash the dogs of war. <laughs> evil laugh. That'd be a super villain without an evil laugh. This guy's died and been resurrected more than I've had, I've had dinners. I'm pretty certain of it by this point. He's kind of the Ryu of the game, though, in ain't Jin Kazama. Jin and Kazuya, they're kind of like... A bit like Ryu and Ken. Sort of. In a weird way, but... You know what I mean? They're kind of like the staple characters that are in every game. I like Jin. I think he's quite a cool character design. I like his outfit. I like his moveset. He doesn't seem too boring, too flashy. He's just a good all-rounder, a little bit like Ryu. That's kind of why I like him. Downstage is totally beautiful. Is that Jun? Well done. Kazama? Presentations off the hizzle. It is such a beautiful looking game. Sound design, the video. No idea who that is either. Definitely going to be brushing up on my second law throughout this story. Like a project executive game director Harada. He's quite a character. You want to look him up on X or Twitter as it was formerly known. He's quite a quite a fun guy, quite a good game developer. I do enjoy his little anecdotes and his little moments that he has with the tech community. He's quite a quite a good guy, actually. Very fun. Young at heart type of geezer. Cinema Heavy Industries. Almost like a full-on Hollywood blockbuster movie. I mean, presentation's so good. A lot of these uh, scenes that we're witnessing are pertaining to past games. Oh, there's been a new war breaking out. Yachi, Mishima missing. Kazuya in power, a G Corp. Interesting. Very interested. Presentation's so good. I mean, big props to him for this. Tekken 8. So, we've just hit chapter two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the video there. I've wet your whistle a little bit with the beginning of my Tekken series. We're certainly gonna be playing out the story and investigating what this game has to offer. If you enjoyed today's video, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one.